Hi guys welcome to my channel. Paul's triple forward 2 is a great addition to his move list in Tekken 8. For that you have to do forward forward quickly and then forward 2. It does 55 damage on hit. On counter it does 59 damage. And in rage it does 60. While in counter plus rage 64. It only connects from forward. On block it is minus 10. Bad thing is if you miss to do it perfectly you can do double forward 2 instead that is launch punishable. Taking side to it is easy. If we compare it with demo man as a combo ender it is a good thing. If you end that combo with perfect demo man damage is 68. And with running 2 it is 67. But you can add 1 before for getting the same damage. For connecting 1 you will find it easy if you practice a bit. You get distance after that. In longer combos it is hard to connect demo man in the end. So you can do 1 then running 2 there to complete longer combos. But yes if wall is near demo man can give you wall splat opportunity and you can do more damage than that. But if you go for running 2, instead on the wall you can get some good oki setup opportunity to get another wall splat launcher. If opponent tries to wake up down 1 will not let him. Or for pressure you can use forward 1 plus 2. Down 1 plus 2 will hit him. If he tries to wake backward forward 4 will catch him. For that down forward is also an option. Or double forward 2 1 he cannot block. Down forward 4 for wake up forward. And also forward 4. Down 1 for side roll. And also down back 2 for that. QCF3 is the best. Back 4 does the same. For wake up mid kick down forward 4 will counter. And for low kick can do death fist 2. If you get counter hit back 4 then that's the best place to do running 2. Can use it on wall directly. But it does less damage than other wall combo options. If you hit that from a little side it can wall splat. You can do a combo there. Or if you get that you can convert it to side wall combo. You should try this on that stage it breaks walls. Here you can do big combos. Sometimes this can happen but don't worry that's a new game they will fix it haha. If you on a floor break stage then use running 2 instantly after direct screw launchers like QCF 1 plus 2 and 3 plus 4. It will give big clean non recoverable damage to combos. And if you get direct hit by running 2 you can do big damage combos easily. Keep running 2 in mind while playing on that stage. At some launchers it does not connect directly. But at some like QCB 1 plus 2 and after QCB 4 counter hit it is easy to connect for high damage combos. I am using simple combos to understand will do big combos in some other video. If you get combo from back it will not connect. But if you have heat you can use heat dash to make opponent straight to connect.
If you try to do some hits before connecting running 2 you will not get that damage. The more less hits before running 2 the more damage you will get. And don't try to use that after wall splat from a distance. It need height to connect. It will not break floor then. And if you try to use it as a combo ender you can only do a single hit after that. But yes if you want to grab opponent's opportunity to break floor. And if you at that stage then same you can take advantage of the floor blast by running too. But there will be a little difference that it will give you a free extra heat in your combos to take opponent to wall. And that stage is longer at one side and shorter on the other. But yes if you add another wall then with that you can travel to the other wall with your opponent for a good damage combo. And if you get direct screw launchers as I discussed before you can use heat smash instead of screw to make easy combo. There are infinite combo combinations that you can try. So that's for today hope you will get great damage using that move. Thanks for watching goodbye.